Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Lesson 3. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank you all so much for your patience. I actually haven't been feeling too hot the past few days, but the show must go on. And I want to make sure that we got this information out to you guys before the weekend is over. So, let's go. Just as we're making our way over to the keyboard, if anyone is interested in purchasing one of their own, you could either Google or Bing or whatever search engine you prefer. Um, just type in keyboard piano for beginners. You'll get a bunch of options. Uh, you should look to spend anywhere between one to three hundred dollars. You want to try to get maybe a forty-nine key, at least forty-nine keys um, on the keyboard. I think like Sam Ash, Guitar Center, uh, Sweetwater, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Amazon. They all should sell um, keyboards. If you can, see if you can go into the store and actually play on the keyboard before you purchase it, just to make sure you like it, to make sure that everything is functioning properly. Um, the same applies for if you want to get like a beginner guitar, uh, either an acoustic or electric or even a bass. You can buy like an entire bass bundle starter pack that comes with like the bass and the amp. Same thing like with the electric guitar and the amp for like 300 bucks. Um, certain instruments, trumpet, uh, maybe a beginner flute, clarinet, saxophones are a little bit more expensive, but you might be able to find one between three and five hundred. Um, yeah, but if you're interested in actually purchasing whatever instrument you want to learn how to play, you can Google it, Bing it, and pay a fairly reasonable price for it. All right. Last week, we finished practicing our chromatic scale exercise in our left and right hand, playing from C to C. This week, I would like to implement a new drill that consists of playing the chromatic scale starting from each of the other 11 notes in music. So not only are we going to play from C to C, all of the notes in music, we're going to go from C sharp to C sharp, from D to D, from E flat to E flat, and so forth and so on until we get back to C. For example, our C sharp or D flat chromatic scale, which starts from C sharp here and ends at the top here. Descending. And we follow that same pattern for the rest of the ten notes in music. Alright, let's get ready for part two. <laughs> 